Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you guys for joining us tonight for another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And today we are heading back to the not-so-distant past, the 2004, the box of Bowman here. I love Bowman, always loved it in the 90s, since its origin in 1989. I never really ripped too much of early 2000s Bowman, so I'm pretty uh, eager and excited to do this break tonight. Looking for Yachty Molina rookie card, Felix Hernandez. And there are a slew of inserts you can find, autographs, and things of that nature. We got 10 cards per pack, 36 packs per box, actually 24 packs per box. And I noticed this earlier, a signature fecal matter stain on the back of that box. Hopefully that's some sort of good omen there, but we're going to go ahead and get ripping and see if we can't find ourselves future Hall of Famer Yadia Molina and the Hernandez. Maybe in a gold parallel would be pretty sick. 330 card set. The veterans are all in red. The rookies are in green, and the first years are in blue. And we're starting off with the top left, as we usually do. Joe's Card Corral, what's happening, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you guys all for being here. We have a scouting report on top. These are pretty cool. I think they did this in uh, several years in the early 2000s. Um, we have a list of all the prospects and whatnot to check out. That's pretty awesome. I know my brother opened a box of, I think it was 09 Bowman or something like that recently, and he found one of those in there too. So a checklist, a complete checklist of what appears to be almost the entire set. That's pretty awesome. Tom G's questionable box stains, perfect for ripping. And it looks like we have, I was hoping we would find this, 2004 baseball uncirculated card. This is pretty sick, and these are, I guess these are kind of difficult to find. So let's go ahead and rip into that first before we start. These were like exclusive, I think, to hobby boxes, I believe. Um, let's see what Baseball Card Pedia says about these because this is really interesting. I saw these earlier when I was checking some things out. It looks like the uncirculated sets or packs. Um, okay, they're not as rare as I thought. They're inserted into each hobby box, but let's check it out anyways and see what we can find. Kind of a cool concept here that I've never got to experience. Carl Crawford, not a bad name there either. Um, bonus uncirculated parallel rookie card. You are due to receive a bonus rookie card. That's pretty cool. And uh, Carl Crawford, that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Justin Roberts is in here. What's happening, man? I guess we'll scratch this off, even though it already expired, and see uh, what we could have got years ago uh what do i have to scratch this off where's my sabo coin at i don't think i have it anymore mike case is hey john have you ripped 98 bowman i got a box today at the lcs 25 bucks once again keep up the awesome bits thanks man appreciate that hopefully you got some good stuff and they weren't all bricked up i get kind of worried when it comes to the late 90s and early 2000 bowmans i'm even kind of worried about this one as well um i'm not sure if these will brick up or not Jay's opening says, who's going to the bar? Let's all just call a break off and go to the bar. Okay, the pin number is completely like faded basically, so I can't even tell. But uh, definitely a cool concept in Carl Crawford uncirculated card. I think it's a facsimile. I don't think it's an autograph, but numbered out of 245. So pretty cool. I like that there. I don't know if we'll give that away to one of the participants or what, but don't subscribe. Adam Y, what's happening, guys? So 10 cards per pack, six packs per stack. Good luck to you guys. Let's find that Yachty Molina rookie card and the Felix Hernandez and maybe even some gold parallels and autographs. There are some decent ones you can pull out of here as far as those go as well. And they're not bricked up, so I'm uh, sighing in relief right now. Marcus Giles leading off. Uh, Luis Gonzalez, first gold card, one per pack, Donald Kelly. And a little bit of stickiness there. Live stream from the bar. <laughs> Don Kelly, Jose Reyes. These ones are kind of tricky, too, as far as like grading goes because of the black border, of course. And hey, Kurt Schilling, that's pretty awesome. Hey, Jonathan H., what's happening, buddy? Good to see you. Brad Vricker and Matt Creighton. Ends the first pack for John A. Kurt Schilling, probably my favorite card in there. Paul L. says, I purposely wore my King Felix shirt today. That's awesome, man. Yeah, he definitely struggled the last few years, but um, 
I don't know. I think he'll turn that around this year for sure with the Braves. James Tomlin leading off. And the second gold card is A-Rod. That's pretty awesome because I think John A is a Yankees fan. At least I'm almost positive he is. So definitely nice thick card stock. You can see the difference between gold and the regular. Uh, really nice A-Rod there. Tory Hunter. I forget who I was talking to recently. It said that they actually met Tory Hunter in person and had him autographed like a paper towel outside of a restaurant. Or outside of a, I think it was outside of a Hooters. Hideo Nomo, I used to like him a lot. Casey Myers, Raphael Palmero, and Juan Pierre. Not a bad second pack at all. There's Joe's card corral. It says, open some lame baseball. Not that it's a big thing, but I never get any plunks. Joe, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Always good to see you and good to have you back in here. Joe just uploaded a video like, what was that, a half hour ago? Ripping some tops big. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing, but I started watching it. And, um, yeah, if you're not subbed to Joe's Card Corral, please check him out. Corey, please do your thing and uh, post a link to Joe's channel, our childhood best friend, and show him some love. Travis Hansen, uh, Sergio or Sergio Silva, a name I don't really remember, Bowman first year for the Buccos. I don't think he really stuck around the Pirates pitching rock, roster uh, too long. Samuel Moose says, John, no longer Hideo fan. Ah, uh, I think... Once a Hideo fan, always a Hideo fan. I was definitely part of that craze in 95 where people were pretty much assaulting each other over his rookie cards. Joe Maurer, pretty early on in his career. Miguel Tejada. And Khalid. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. I'm not going to try because I'll butcher it. Another name I'm not familiar with. Todd Ars says, I have, a, I have a stack of plunk rookies I'm going to send John's way after COVID. We've got three packs left. No sign of any major rookies yet. Boom, slang. What's going on? Yeah, I saw that, Joe. I saw it was like under 20 minutes. I thought that was going to be a chipper for a second there. Preston Wilson leading off. Bo Hart. Nick Johnson is a gold card in this pack. Hey, don't subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, man. Terry Jones. Bobby Jenks. Ricky Nolasco. <laughs> Vito Chiara Violato, name I've never ever heard before and will probably never say again. Sheffield, and nothing else too notable in that third to last pack. Bo Hart, Paul says. Oh boy. It's a pretty cool though. You got Delman Young on the on the box there. And uh, also on the front of the packs as well. Sean Knox, we have our first insert card in this pack. Chris Lebanski, I think it's going to be an autograph. It is Brent Clevelin. Another name I'm not really too familiar with. Um, Signs of the Stars. Top left corner is kind of beat up. But our first autograph, Brent Clevelin. Um, pretty cool, though. Signs of the Future. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Very cringeworthy, Jeff Keppinger. You get so you have two relics and or autos per box in these. Cliff Floyd, a box of these is around like sixty bucks. If you want to get one for yourself, which I think is a pretty reasonable price for you know Yadi Molina rookie year and uh, Felix Rodriguez, two big names like that. You get a PSA ten uh, Yadi Molina, which is probably kind of tough to do. Bernie Williams is a nice one though. Probably kind of tough to do, but if you would get one of those or like a higher end autograph. Be pretty awesome. Cheswick, what's going on, man? Adam Wise says, I need to find some more boxes. I need to find some flea markets or antiques. Yeah, I feel like a lot of those places didn't even shut down whenever they're enforced in the lockdowns and whatnot. Uh, I ended up finding that out like months later. Final pack here for John A., Tim Hutting, Alberto Garcia, Millwood, Alberto Calaspo, Gold Card. Eric S. says, such a tough card to grade. Definitely are. Remind me of, like, uh, the early days of Pinnacle. Tim Bittner, Jerry Bonnerman, Phil Nevin, Casey Blake, Adam Dunn, who saw his PSA 10 rookie last night out of that mystery package, and Brian Pilkington ends that stack out. So, first stack down, uh, A-Rod Gold card was definitely nice, and the auto, um, kind of a lesser-known name auto, but... Still cool to pull one nonetheless. We'll go to the top right here. The next six. 
Casey Blake, huge cringe. The next six are our buddy Jay Hadley. Just posted a video yesterday. He's actually in the stream. Um, the Ultimate Maguire Collector. And I have a custom Maguire card heading your way with these, Jay. Be more Ben. What's going on, buddy? So let's get started. Jay's opening. Good luck to you. Also, Yachty Molina Collector. Pool Hulse. Uh, let's hope we see something nice for him in here. Don Sutton. The same Don Sutton that we're thinking. Grady Sizemore. He's got some autos in here. Uh, our first gold card is Mark Teixeira. Not a bad name. Now, these are pretty cool. Edwin Jackson. JT Stotts. Carlos Quentin. Richie Sexton. And Rocco Baldelli ends that pack. And you get rookies in 04. The rookies we're chasing after in here are Yachty Molina and Felix Hernandez. There's some other ones too. Not too bad. Eric says, went through a friend's collection just about two years ago and he had a lot of 03, 04, 05 Bowman cards. He had the Molina rookie look good. Sent it to PSA, hope for a 10, came back an 8-5. Oh, that's rough. That is definitely rough. I was actually, <laughs> there's a guy I talked to, a subscriber, Mark Davis. He sent me a link on Facebook today on the Marketplace for um, a Chipper Jones Desert Shield card, which I've been kind of eyeballing, trying to lock one down. And uh, I, I was like, how much do you want for that Chipper Jones? It's not graded, so I kind of questioned the authenticity of it to begin with, but... He's like, well, it'd probably come back a six or a seven uh, if you sent it in. So I went 500 bucks. And, like, the bottom left and right corners were just, you could see brown cardboard on both sides. And, like, the top left was rounded off. It was way off center on the front and the back both, like, horribly off center. Um, <laughs> like, 500 bucks seems a little bit pricey for that card, man. And, like, it might, it might even be real to begin with. Most of the time when you see reprints that are cut really good to begin with, so... But I was like, yeah, Jeter's a nice one, though. And Omar Vizquel, probably soon to be Hall, Hall of Famer. He's got a long signature there. Eric Ibar. Jorge Mejia. Yeah, but overall, 500 bucks for a card that had beat beat to hell in back corners and like basically rounded off. Like, ah, I'm not interested, man. Then he started sending me like screenshots of PSA 10 sold listings for Chipper Jones Desert Shield. It was like 20 grand. <laughs> like yours is nowhere near a 10 man Raphael for cow if it's even real to begin with Roy Oswalt Michael Mallory and Rob Tejeda last uh, card there Criterion Racers in here has ripped a few packs of Harry and the Hendersons Lee thanks a lot man you know what I have seen those but I have never opened them that's pretty awesome I come across those sometimes at uh, at flea markets but Along with um, the bow cards. I'm sure you've seen those before. Those non-sports cards. They're pretty cool, but I've never really dabbled too much in those. I do have some non-sports cards that I'm hoping to open at some point. Boom Slank says, don't do it. John, buy a graded one and pay the price. You'll be thankful in the end. I think I'm going to. I mean, there's also, I was talking to Corey about it a little while ago. Zach Miner. Um, there's a Dale Murphy reverse negative on eBay right now. For 60 bucks. buy it now. And it's not graded in, like, I don't know, I really question the authenticity of those because there's reprints of that card as well. Um, Jeremy Millions is the gold card. Brad Snyder, CC Sabathia um, is a decent one there. Michael Mooney and this last one kind of got a beat corner on it. Juan Cedeno. Yeah, these ones are definitely tough. John says, how much would my Mark Grace Desert Shield go for? Is it a common? Mark Grace would probably be like around 10 bucks, I would say. Somewhere in that range. 500 did you have a gun? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty crazy. I mean, those that card does go for a lot of money. But, I mean, not in the condition. I, 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 I'd like to show you guys the condition of this card. And let me know if you think... I mean, I, I can pull up my phone right now just so you guys can see it. Because I... I want your opinion on it as, on it as well. Um, okay, check it out. So this is what I was looking at here. Okay, so this is what he said would be a PSA 6 or a 7. All right, I mean, obviously, it's horribly off-center, first glance, but then you take a look, closer look. Look at that bottom right corner. Looks like someone took a freaking cheese grater to it. <laughs> like, that's pretty awful. And then this 
bottom left, you can see the brown fray there. So right there, then the top left looks like it's rounded off. I mean, the seal, uh, I don't know. The seal's a little, iffy, a little iffy to me. Uh, the top right, definitely a little blemish to that. But um, what do you think? PSA 6 or 7? That's what I was being told. And then there's the back, horribly off-center as well. Um, so <laughs> that ain't no PSA 5. And then I was sent this on top of it of the excellent 5, 400 bucks. But he was saying it was a... a the PSA six or seven, so that's where he gets his five hundred bucks. <laughs> no way, six to seven, too much damage. I didn't think I was crazy. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me, man!" Like, no freaking way. Jason Wentos, that's a four at best. That's what I was saying too. Less than five, uh, yeah, for five hundred bucks. Like, I told him I'd give him two hundred bucks for it, and that was only if I could see like the black light test. Like, I don't know, for, for a beat one. I feel like something like that, you might get 254 on eBay, and then you're gonna pay the fees and everything else, so you end up with 200 to begin with. But uh, that's what I would value that is probably 200 bucks. Jose says nope is a three. Yeah, that's like maybe three or four. Winnell Severino, her name I don't remember too much. Jason Schmidt, Shen Ming Wang is a definitely a decent one there. He's got some autos in here that are kind of pretty valuable. Brooks Conrad, Johnny Damon. And uh, Jacques Jones for a second. Sheldon False. Boom Slanks, it's John. It's an authentic chipper rookie with authentic chip corners. It definitely looks like it. Daddy Daughter card breaks. What's happening, man? You're just in time for the fun. We have two packs left in the second stack, and we have no sign of Yachty Molina yet, but hoping the tide will turn here pretty soon. David Pauly on the back. Aubrey Huff. Carl Crawford, we saw that crazy uncirculated card earlier. It's pretty cool. Este Harris. Jody Garou. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I've never even heard of him. Kerry Wood. Cool one there. I used to like Kerry Wood a lot in the 90s. I'm sure most people did. Dustin Nippert. Another Jody. Vladdy Guerrero Sr. Pretty awesome. like that one a lot. Jose says, looks like he didn't take good care of it at all. Vincent says, how could you tell if it were a fake? I mean, there's certain things that you can look for. I, I did a video about it a while ago. That, that, I mean, the two best ways, like the, the, the seal, there's certain things to look for in the seal to tell if it's fake. And also the back under a black light should glow, which um, counterfeits won't do that. Pudge Rodriguez and David Pauly. Aubrey Huff sucks. Chris Brandon, thanks, man. Appreciate you being here, dude. Last pack for Jay. Hopefully we find something nice, but I am going to send this your way, Jay, if uh, at the very least you're still getting this awesome custom Project 1991 card that I have set aside for you. That was from the uh, mystery package last night. Todd Helton on the back. Hopefully it's a good sign. Dave Em says, are you aware that Terry Mahal in 94 Stadium Club Air lists his MLB debut as 1968? I don't think I've ever seen that one. That's one I have to check up on. Edgar Martinez leading off Jeff Kent. Not a bad pack so far. Kevin Millwood is a golden card. Jeremy says, Harris was the relic I got from this box and Aaron Hill auto. Interesting. Hunter Brown, Melvin Mora, Marlon Bird, Pete Shire, Kelvin Escobar, and there's Todd Helton. So no sign of um, the Yachty yet. Hopefully we see one in here. Vincent says, what are the most often counterfeited cards of modern era? I mean, I've seen quite a few. That was definitely a big one back in 91. As far as today goes, modern, I really couldn't tell you. I'm not too sure. Hobby Search is up next. He hasn't put out a video in a while. It's been about a month since one of his videos. He's close to 400 subs, getting really close to it, actually. Not sure if he's here or not, but um, we're going to wish you good luck anyways and see if we can pull you something nice. Jack Juke Scott Sports Talk. What's happening? Thanks for being here. Everyone that's in here, thank you guys all for being with us tonight. Do this every Tuesday here. Next week, we're going to be doing 96 SPX, looking for the Mike Piazza and Griffey autos. 86 Don Russ Canseco was definitely huge. A lot of counterfeiting going on around there. There's a pretty nice one, though. Larry Walker base and then Larry Walker gold card right after it is pretty sick. 
Larry Walker's cards never were valued very much money, but uh, still heck of a ball player and new to the hall as well. His rookie cards definitely seem to reflect him getting into Cooperstown. Tom Glavin, it's kind of a weird shot of him, and Alberto Calaspo. But not so much regular base cards, but his PSA, high-grade PSA, Walker rookies definitely went through the roof. 357 Magazine here says, hello to John and Brittany and Jab's family. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for being here, and good to see you. Appreciate you popping in. Hope all is well your way also. We kind of got a break from the heat wave here lately, which has been really nice. I think it's coming back around here again really soon. Rodney Choi Fu, another name I don't really recognize too much. Tom Glavin is a very strange looking O2 Donruss studio card. I feel like I've seen that. Rob G, what's happening, man? Big Sun says Trout Rookie has a lot. Yeah, those definitely do. Um, I know Eric bought one on eBay and ended up being a counterfeit, and he ended up sending it back. I think he got some money back for it. Lance Berkman. Dionier Navarro, another name I don't really recognize. Jason Bay. Definitely a lot of prospects that I don't even think made the majors in this set. Chad Chop. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I never even heard of him. Ben Himes and Jimmy Moyer. The Machine. I learned Choi Fu for a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one I don't recognize at all. Daddy Daughter Card Breaks says, tip for the dealer, one of the two Bash Brother Card Breakers. Daddy Daughter, thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Corey, if you wouldn't mind posting a link to Daddy Daughter Card Breaks, I think he's getting really close to 1,000. So congrats to you, man. Your channel has really seemed to taken off. Ramon, Ramon Ramirez. Rudy Guillen. Let's see if we can find this... Uh, this is Yachty Kenneth Anderson, what is going on, man? Thanks for joining us. Michael Mooney, gold card. Johan Santana, Matt Moses. So these are, the, like I said, I didn't really go over this before, but uh, the blue border, these are first-year cards. The red are veterans, and then the green are rookies. Javier Vasquez, Sergio Silva, and Tommy Murphy ends that pack. Sure thing, Daddy Daughter, thanks for being here, man. Appreciate that. We have three packs left in Hobby Searchers stack here. I think the best thing we've seen so far probably in here is a Larry Walker gold card. Brett Myers on the back. Randy Wolf. Tim Hudson is a nice name. Calvin Hayes. Ben Himes. They stuck with this gold thick uh, card stock for quite a while. Quite a few years uh, that, that, that uh, lasted there. My Butterfingers. Just dropped Leo Nunez, but luckily no damage. Mark Teixeira, no more Garcia Parra. Finally, a name amongst the crowd that I recognize somewhat. Nick Johnson and Brett Myers ends that pack. And here's Jonathan H's kid you not. One of the best urologists for vasectomies in Austin is named Dick Chop. <laughs> Jonathan H, thank you for that humor, man. I don't doubt it, and now that's going to... Prompt me to go and look that up after the live stream. I'm sure everybody else will, too. Oh, the irony of that name, man. In Austin, Texas. I mean, I'm looking that up for sure. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks, man. Hopefully, you will join us again in making uh, videos here pretty soon. <clears throat> Joel Zumaya rookie card is actually pretty good. That's a nice one, too. He was definitely a pretty good pitcher. And Pudge Rodriguez gold, another nice one there. Clemens, creepy little smile on his face. And Randy Johnson, Jesse English, A-Rod, definitely a great pack here. Probably the best pack we've seen all night. Nothing else too notable in there, but a um, couple of nice ones in that one. On to the last pack. Good luck to you, Hobby Searcher. <laughs> Joe's Card Corral. Uh, the conversation in here are glorious. I love them. Renteria on the back. Jesse Floyd leading off. Something's flipped over. Could be an autograph. Anthony Acevedo. Dontrell Willis. A shout out to Frankie. And what are we going to have here? Gold card flipped upside down. It's a relic. Este Harris. Isn't that, I swear that's what somebody just said in here a little bit ago that they pulled. I don't know if it was an auto or a relic, but um, authentic game-worn high school jersey for Este Harris. Not numbered or anything, but 
Hey, Blanco baseball breaks. What's happening? Jose says Harris didn't pan out at all. Yeah, it's still it's still a cool card. High school jersey. So I guess that must be our two relics or autos for this box. Hopefully we might see something else. Dimitri Young. Reed Gorecki and Renteria. Hopefully, uh, yeah, high school jersey. What? Like that was like the big hot chase. Ends that stack for Hobby Searcher, and we have Joe B, who has a way of always he gets in the last stack, the top or the bottom right every single time, and ends up like finding the rookies most of the time. I feel like he gets pretty lucky. What a mug shot from Mister English. <laughs> All right, from the final six. Can you tell a relic and pack weight? Yeah, I mean, you definitely should be able to. You definitely should be able to. Jersey cards still seem hot. I've never gone into the jersey card craze. T-ball jersey relics. Daddy daughter, no Molina yet. I'm hoping in the last stack he shows up. Bobby Brownlee, Raphael for Cal. It's a cool shot of him. If you get to Felix, it'll be the one thing I didn't get from the box I bought. Yeah, hoping to see King Felix in here somewhere. A gold card would be sick, but I don't want to be greedy. And uh, it's Giambi. Joe's a Yankee fan, so I'm sure he probably likes that Giambi. Shingo Takatsu and nothing else. Matt Caps. I hated Matt Caps. I don't know why. Cap and gown relics. That'd be ridiculous. Corey says, if anyone will get it, Joe Yankee will get it. That's usually the way it goes. He always ends up getting lucky in the last stack. Matt Capps played way too long. Sean Green, Jorge Posada, getting all the Yankees again. Garrett Anderson, and a Joel Zumaya. Gold rookie card. That's pretty awesome. Probably valued a few bucks, but um, yeah, it's a nice one. Definitely kind of a prominent decent rookie out of a lot of the ones we've seen so far fernando cortez frank thomas nice one there where is our yachty frank brooks tyler davidson and sydney ponson four packs left until we dive into uh, i don't know what should we do tonight should we do 88 don russ or should we do um 88 score what are you guys feeling I have cases of both. Did I find the Rob Deere buyback? No, not yet. Jim Tomey leading off. Good sign. Barry Zito. JT Stotts. <laughs> waiting for DNA cards. We are waiting for those and waiting for Topps Jailbreak. Hopefully that happens someday. I'd love it. 93 Don Russ. Yeah, as I had a, he had a heck of an arm on him, man. He definitely did. You watch him throw 105 miles per hour. Bill Mueller. Uh, Tim Salmon and Eric Chavez. Down to three. Let's find Yachty or Felix. <laughs> yeah, jailbreak would be awesome. Chad Curtis, Raul Mondesi. Um, who else are we forgetting? We're forgetting a whole bunch. Esteban Loiza, Javier Guzman, Brandon Metters. How about jail intake fingerprints? That would be sick. Mike Piazza is a nice one, though. Mike Piazza veterans card. Zach Duke. How he let us all down in Pittsburgh. Scott Rowland. Javi Lopez. Decent pack, though. Michael Young. And Brant Calmarino. Javi, or should I say J.B. Lopes. That's kind of a weird signature there. Huh. Interesting. Zach Duke, yeah, what a letdown! <laughs> what a letdown he was. He's definitely cringeworthy in Pittsburgh. Two packs. Hey, Chip Brandon says, "Johnny, you fantasy baseball player." Thanks a lot, Chip. You know what? I have not uh, ever played fantasy baseball other than Tony Larusa two baseball for DOS. That was kind of like our fantasy baseball back in the day, where we would draft teams and everything else, and then actually play them out through an entire season that Eric ran the season and Joe's card corral was in there. Um, we went back and played that a few months ago. It was awesome. That's probably the closest I've ever done to fantasy baseball though. And it's been many, many years. Orlando Cabrera leading off. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Anthony LaRue twice in a row. Come on, Bowman. 
messing with our emotions here. Roy Halladay, nice one. Hank Blaylock. Bartolo Colon, before he tacked on another 200 pounds. And Lincoln Holdscomb, name I don't recognize. Last pack, where's the Yachty? Where's King Felix? I hope you've not found them yet. 330 card set, not very big. Jeez. The last pack magic here. Hey, Johnny, what's happening? Look at that. Felix Hernandez rookie card. About time we found one of them. Jeez, I was getting worried. Very, very nice. Felix Hernandez. He has had a heck of a career. I hope he continues it this year at the Braves. He struggled the last few seasons, but man, heck of a pitcher. This is a pretty awesome card. Um, and really for being on top of the pack, it's in pretty good shape too. No busted quarters and no white. So we got pretty lucky with that. I'll uh, definitely make sure that will be in a nice top loader, which I don't have handy for whatever reason. I never do. I just have a big mess. <laughs> so pretty awesome. Schultz's card pool says, I'm a huge Mariners fan. Yeah, this is definitely one of the chase cards we were after tonight. We struck out to find the Yachty so far, but they might both be in the same pack. But Felix Hernandez, rookie card, very, very nice. Last pack mojo. Let's see if we can keep it up and find ourselves the Yachty. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross any other phalanges that you may have. Rudy Guillen, gold card. Ty Wigginton kind of screwed us out of a Yachty there. Esteban Loiza, we just, we're just talking about him. Greg Maddox, back on the Cubbies again. Weird seeing that. Chris Shelton and Gil Mesh. No Yachty Molina in that box. It came up short, but um, the Felix Hernandez was definitely a nice one. I'm, I'm very glad that we at least found that. Ooh, I was sweating bullets there, but we found, what, a jersey relic of Este Harris and then uh, an auto of, who was that, Brian, I can't remember what his name was, Brian Kalevin or something like that? I have no idea, but... That ends it. Joe Baumgarten, like I said, he always gets the key chase rookies we're after, and he got the Felix Hernandez. So congrats to you, Joe. The Joel Zumaya gold card and the Felix Hernandez are coming your way. And thank you guys all for participating in tonight's break. Uh, like I said, next week we'll be doing 96 SPX, kind of a weird uh, forgotten about set of cards. There's one card per pack. It's a pretty small set, too. And there's a chance of finding a Griffey Auto or Piazza Auto. So we'll be doing that next week. And then after that, we'll probably do 92 Donruss, the rookies. And then I'm not sure about the future after that. But thank you guys all for tuning in. I really appreciate you being here every Tuesday with me. I hope to have a standard video for you tomorrow. And I think that you will enjoy it. So um, hopefully see you tomorrow night. And uh, please drop me a comment down below if you enjoyed the break. And please subscribe if you are not already. And hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Appreciate all your support, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching, and have a 